Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, April the 28th. This morning's call to prayer comes to us from Psalm 47, verses 5 through 8. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the ram's horn. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is King of all the earth. Sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. The request for presence today is Psalm 74. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say forever, Great is the Lord. The greeting from Psalm 50 verse 2. Out of Zion, perfect in its beauty, God reveals himself in glory. The refrain for the morning lessons is Psalm 14, 7b. When the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice and Israel will be glad. The gospel reading is John 13, 20. Jesus said, In truth, I tell you, whoever welcomes the one who I send welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. When the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice, and Israel will be glad. The morning psalm is Psalm 13, 3 through 6. Look upon me and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, lest I sleep in death. Lest my enemy say, I have prevailed over him, and my foes rejoice that I have fallen. But I put my trust in your mercy. My heart is joyful because of your saving help. I will sing to the Lord, for he has dealt with me richly. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. When the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice and Israel will be glad. This morning we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, glory be to the Son, glory be to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer appointed for this week. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have delivered me from the dominion of sin and death and brought me into the kingdom of your Son. And I pray that as by his death he has recalled me to life, so by his love he may raise me to eternal joys, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Our concluding prayer of the church. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. May God bless you today and always.